Hello everybody, welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. The market really isn't doing us any favors at the moment. Still chopping around up here at our resistance line on BTC. And it's being resisted. We did have a, a another stalling candle, actually kind of a topping candle on the two hour time frame right there, high volume. Uh, we'll see if it leads to anything. It is a slightly lower high as we have made a sequence of higher highs on BTC, but we're not really getting a lot of momentum. The RSI tool you can see is starting starting to lean over. You probably could draw just a small trend line across here. Uh, in my opinion, if this trend line is broken to the upside, that could lead into some type of a move. But um, as of right now, not a lot of hope. You know, not all markets need to be traded. And I think this is one of those times where crypto doesn't necessarily need to have a lot of your money in positions. It's just a lot of risk right now. I don't think the reward is going to be that high. Really in either direction, we don't know what direction the eventual break will be. There's going to be some people in the bullish camp, some people in the bearish camp, and they're both going to have good arguments. So from that perspective, I don't think you can really have uh, a major expectation. I know I don't. I don't have an expectation right now. I tend to have a bullish bias because most markets have a bullish bias. But other than that, with most of these charts, uh, it's seemingly really random at this time. There's really not a lot of structure. And structure is what can help move markets for a more sustained period of time. So we're looking for structure to form is really what we're looking at right now. And we're not getting a lot of structure here on BTC at the moment, uh, at least not for upward action. I say if I did have a bias that was unbiased, it would be to the downside. The question is if we break lower, at least from this one, do we break this low? And then do we break this our ultimate low? Uh, in my opinion, just breaking this trend line would be definitely problematic. So we'll see. See what happens going into a weekend. I don't think you can have a major expectation either direction. All right, next, take, next up, let's take a look at Solana, which again, getting more random. It was thinking about getting healthy, but the volume really wasn't there, meaning no one was interested. And now we just have what looks like a, a down day like we've had two days ago. And then like we had several days before that. So we're back to very random action in Solana. Again, leading to the fact that it looks like we're in a pretty trendless market. All right, onto the hot coins today, which, as you can imagine, aren't very hot. Chainlink, moving up here. Pretty good volume, though. One of the few that does have good volume. The problem here, though, is not a lot of price progress upwards for the amount of money they had to put into work here. So from that perspective, again, not sure if you can expect a lot of movement out of these names. Uh, but the way the market goes is something moves, and then you get interested. And it's just kind of the way it has to be. If you took a pox shot at every single event that you thought might work, you'd be broke before Thursday. So let's not do that. Next up is Ton. And when Ton is your top hot coin of the day, one of them, you know something's wrong. And it's not a really great environment. So here you go. Ton is top top altcoin of the day. And that's what you that's what it is. It's from here to here. Whoop de doo. Not much going on here. So blah blah blah. Rinse and repeat. Garbage market. It's pretty much where we're at. So not a whole lot to do. Go have a fun weekend. Hopefully it surprises us with a nice up move. But um, I don't think there's anything to do with that until it happens. So there you go. Go enjoy your weekend. Don't fret on the markets. Take a break. Have fun. And I'll see you Monday on Altcoin Buzz Trading.